All right, it's Roger with iGadget Geek, and I have another video review of a case for the iPhone 4. This is a case sent to me by Hornet Tech. This is their light series in yellow. So you can see here's the packaging, and there's their website. And I will have a link in the description on where you can purchase this. This retails for right around $18. So let's go ahead and take a look at what all you get with the case itself. Let's go ahead and get this packaging open. Get this out of the way. Here's the case itself. So go ahead and pop it off of this foam kind of fake iPhone 4. Now basically this is a kind of a dual material case. It has kind of this yellow is a kind of a TPU material. And then it has this clear acrylic as you can see here as well on the back. So it gives you some protection for your iPhone 4. So let's go ahead and pop this into my iPhone and take a look at it. I like to start the button side first and then work my way around. It snaps very easily into the case. Let me get some of my fingerprints off of here. Now this particular iPhone, this is my black iPhone 4. It has a crystal clear, a crystal clear screen shield on the front and it has a carbon fiber skin on the back. Now as you can see with this clear back piece you can really see that carbon fiber skin. Now one of the nice things you think, oh, you know, this will get all scratched up, but they actually have incorporated on the four corners some little feet here to help bring that up off of the table a little bit. And also when you set it down, it doesn't slide as much if you... All right, so let's take a look here. Let me go ahead and zoom in here. Now the case itself actually does not cover over the glass. It actually stops right at the plastic on the edge of the glass. So this particular case, as you can see here, there with the plastic, it stops right on that plastic edge of your glass. So any screen shield that you use, you will not have any issues with this bubbling or causing you problems. And you do get a bit of a lay on the table, as you can see there how the case itself sticks up over the glass so if you were to lay it face down you would get some protection from anything touching your screen. So let's go ahead and take a look around at the case itself. Now here on the bottom you have three nice cutouts for your speaker, microphone, and 30 pin dock connector and that dock connector opening is quite large. I haven't had any issues with secondary connectors having any problems. Now on the side here where the SIM card is, there is nothing. Now if you can look at this on camera, if you look at the side of this case, it kind of has this beveled edge, which makes it really nice to hold. It kind of gives you a place for your fingers to rest. But too, with that clear acrylic plastic being beveled like that, it gives you this really neat effect on that stainless steel band. It really kind of emphasizes that stainless steel band and kind of shows it off. Now on the very top, your sleep-wake button is covered with the TPU material. Now you have two cutouts, one for your secondary mic and one for your headphone jack. Now this hole here is kind of small, but most of the headphones that I have, I haven't had any issues. Now if you have an extremely large aftermarket headphone, you might have an issue with it fitting in there. I have not personally had any problems with the headphones that I use. Now on this side here, as you can see, here is your sleep, I mean here is your silent switch and your volume up and down. Now with the way this is made, that cutout is right on for the AT&T iPhone 4. This particular case would not work real well with the Verizon or a CDMA iPhone. Now it will work because that is TPU, it will just kind of push down in there a little bit, but it won't fit ideally. And of course you have a nice cover for your volume up and your volume down with the little plus and minus incorporated there. Now the responsiveness of the buttons on the sleep wake is very nice. You still actually can feel and hear that click when you do the sleep wake button. Now your volume up and down as well. Very responsive. You don't have to push hard at all. It's basically pushing it as if it didn't have a case on it at all. So you can see there no problems at all with responsiveness and pushing the buttons. Now I'll be having a giveaway for this case. To be entered into the giveaway for the light case from Hornet Tech, there'll be a couple of things you'll need to do. First, you'll need to subscribe 
to my YouTube channel. Once you do that, go ahead and give this video a thumbs up. Go ahead and like this video. And then go to my website. There'll be a, a link in the description on where you can find my website. Now, once you go to my website, leave me a comment on the post about this video. In that comment, use the same username that you do on YouTube, and you'll be entered into the giveaway. Now, if you'd like a second entry into the giveaway, on my website, you will find the link to my Twitter account. Follow me on Twitter and retweet the post about this video, and you'll be entered in for a second entry into the drawing. This has been Roger with iGadgetGeek.